Hello, this is Selena from Rain City Creativity. Uh, today I want to show you a really quick and easy way of how to decorate um, clothespins. I'd seen some tutorials online and they just were long and complicated, involved exacto knives, acrylic paint. I didn't want to do it that way. So join me in this really quick and fun video. Now, First of all, the reason that I decided to make these was because I wanted a really cute closure for um, these uh, goodie bags uh, for my daughter's little um, little birthday bash. So how it works is, so it just fits nicely on there, as you can see it, it's kind of cute, and the boy one like that. Now as an aside, I did not have any stamps for the boys goodie bags. So what I did was just bought some, these are from the dollar store, uh, my dollar 25 store, and just little alien stickers and just take, take an alien sticker and plug it on. And there you go. Look how nice that is. So if you have just boys, you can buy little stickers for girls and have your focal image be little stickers. Then you don't have to go out and buy um, a flower stamp that you'll never use. And that was just the little girl one. So yeah, so let's get started with these. Now I'll just put them back here. Now, the first part of these is the background color. Now, like I said, I saw a lot of people taking their acrylic paint and stopping or uh, painting each one individually. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I have to make 25 of these. So how I did that is I used a hanger. Get these out of the way. And this is just a regular wire clothes hanger. And I put the clothes pins on them. And I did it in such a way that the crevice where it pinches, oh that one, there you go, remains open. Let me bring that up a bit. Oops. See? Now, for because you, the reason you do that is because you take your spray paint and you can then move your clothes hanger and spray, spray all four sides. You can get into that little pinchy crevice part. Oops. So uh, then, uh, oh, use a glove when you do this. Then I took this the clothes hanger and put it on my shower curtain rod uh, with some newspaper down below. Left it for uh, a couple hours and actually overnight. No, no, I left it overnight because my concern was where it pinches. Sometimes that can get sticky, so I thought, okay, I'll leave it overnight and they're fine. Okay. So that's super easy way to do it. Now, wanted to warn you is the first spray paint I used was this um, spray paint from Walmart. It's a dollar. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Don't use it. It took like nine times, nine coats, and it was dribbly to make uh, the white base color. I was just, oh, I just couldn't believe how horrible it was. And then I had purchased for a different project this Rustoleum American Accents. And oh my gosh, it was like two coats. Actually, I did four coats because I did every side the top, the bottom, left side, right side. So if you're going to do this, use the Rustoleum. It was awesome. Actually, I went out and bought some white and black and gold of that. And this garbage. Don't use it. Anyways, so then with respect to decorating your uh, clothespin, the best type of uh, decorative paper to use is the light paper, not decorative cardstock. Um, this paper is from actually quite an old line. It's the Magnolia My Mind's Eye. It's actually you can see that 2006. This is like 10 years old. But you can still find it on eBay because that's where I got this. This is my second package. And it has 
Okay, let's find some pretty paper. This has such cool bohemian type paper. I like it. So, yeah, my second... But yeah, you can... I saw some last week. I was tempted to buy it, but I still have this big package. And anyway, so just get any old strip. And what you want to do is flip it over. And I want to do this so you can see there. Then take your thumb. Now, see, it's all even on the other side. Oh, the other thing, too, is the base color, when you choose your decorative paper, try to have quite a bit of the base color matching uh, that's on the decorative paper. That way, if there's a, you make a little bit of imperfection, you can't really tell because it camouflages it a bit. Anyways, take it and... With your thumb, make a crease on the top and the bottom. Okay? Now, I don't do it underneath the spring because it, it's too complicated. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it a little teeny bit. You can see the creases. So, what I do is, actually I'm going to take a bit off there. So now what I can do is... You can use scissors, I guess. I'm just not that that uh, street of a uh, scissor cutter. But what's cool is I use my little guillotine. Just want to make sure. And I cut on the crease. There's one side. There's the other. Oops. Try that again. Okay. Even it up. This time I'm going to try to do it. Uh, I'm going to do it on the surface. And that. that. Don't worry about the ends. Because those get cut later. So you saw what I was doing before. Let me just get this on. I put it exactly, oh, I hope my head didn't get caught in there. There. Mm, there's the clothespin. See? And that will fit perfectly. Now, I leave it a little ends, I leave a little extra on each side. Then, I put a bit, I'm using Collage Podge. This is matte, but you can use Mod Podge. It's the same, same thing. Um, it just that one was on a discount. And just put a little coating on. Oops. I'll put my... Put that on. It's straight. Super easy. I'm going to take my scissors because I find that you can't even up the edges very well. Except once it's on, there. Then I will take a little bit more of the collage posh, another coat. And there. Let that dry. Then do the other side. And then once that's dry, like because I had to do 25, I did one side on the 25, and then by the time I came back to the first one, it was already dry. Then did the other side. And then from there, decorate it any way you want. I used uh, flat back pearls. And on these ones, these were some um, homemade uh, glitter domes that I make using my, these are my reject perler beads. These either have, uh, uh, that's not a good, they either have dust or a little black dust bits or they have dimples in them. So these are just the rejects that I didn't want to throw away because there's quite a few. 
but uh, I didn't want to use them the way they were supposed to be used because they had those imperfections. But so yeah, so that's how they turn out. And uh, I hope you like the video. And oh, I should tell you just my clothespins. These I bought again at the dollar store, fifty of them. Woohoo! But I had a bunch of bunch of clothespins that were my mom's. The because I still put I still put clothes up on the clothesline in the summer. But yeah, so that's it. But thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and have yourself a fabulous day. Thanks. Bye-bye.